Okay, so we've added, we've subtracted, we've divided and multiplied integers. Now let's mix them all together. Mixed integer questions. So it's kind of like a summary and it's kind of like a review. And this actually is a review. A review lesson because I think you're ready for your first official math test of the year. Which you're going to have, not today, but probably next math class after you've done the worksheet on this to review for integers. Anyways, let's take a look back. A little trip down memory lane. Rem remember, when you're adding or subtracting integers, what we did back then, we either used a number line or just used common sense. For multiplying and dividing, the key thing to remember was the signs were the same, the answer was positive, if the signs are different, the answer is negative. Okay, so here are whoops, here are four questions involving nines and threes. How would we do these four questions? Okay, we have negative nine times three times multiply. What do you gotta do when you multiply? Remember, when you're multiplying or dividing, you look at the signs. If they're different, like they are here, negative, positive, imaginary positive, the answer is negative, and then you just do it. 9 times 3, 27. The answer is negative 27. Done. Divide by. I know I said I wasn't going to do these lame divided by signs elementary school style ones, but whatever. From here on in, I will never do it again. Negative 9 divided by 3. In this case, uh, signs again, you check if they're different or the same. They are different, negative and positive, so they are different signs. The answer is negative. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Done. These next two, negative 9 plus 3. And you're thinking, oh, I forgot how to do the pluses and the minuses. This is where you can either pull out the number line or you can just use common sense. Here, you're down 9, then you're up 3. Or using the number line, you're starting at negative 9, if I had the number line here, and you're going to go forward 3 spots. Either Any way you do it, the answer is negative 6. Here, you're down 9, then you're down 3 more. Down 9, you're down 3 more, or if you had the number line, you should be starting at negative 9, and you would change direction and go backwards 3, 1, 2, 3, you'd be at, be at negative 12. Okay, so know the rules, do not get them mixed up. Okay, don't just think, oh, Oh, the signs here are different, so it's negative, and then you just, I mean, here it worked out, it was negative, but here, if you were following the multiplying and dividing rules, you would get confused with this question. Okay, so the, this thing here only works when you're multiplying or dividing. For adding, subtracting, you just gotta think your way through it, use common sense, use a number line, whatever you like. Okay. Let's use tens and twos. So I told you I would stop using the lame elementary school way of showing divided by. Here you have negative 10 divided by negative 2. When you're dividing, you look at the signs, if they're the same or different. They are the same, so you know the answer is going to be positive. Positive what? 10 divided by 2 is 5. Here, negative 10 minus 2, subtracting. We don't do the si signs are the same, signs are different stuff here. We just gotta figure it out. You're down 10, you're down 2. You are down 12. Or again, using the number line, starting at negative 10, go back 2, you'd be at negative 12. Here, remember what you do here. This is not negative 10 minus 2. There's like nothing in between these two. And remember, when there's nothing in between, that means multiply. 
So you have negative 10 times negative 2 multiplying. You look at the whole signs are different, signs the same thing. Signs are the same, so it's positive 10 times 2, 20. Positive 20. And this last one. Now, this will probably mess you up. I've been saying for adding subtracting, you don't look at the whole signs the same, signs are different. But here, we've got our good friend, a double sign. We want to get rid of this double sign. How do you get rid of double signs? Well, it's the same rules of multiplying and dividing. If the signs are different, this will become a minus. Oops, minus. I'll just do this, this is safer. This becomes a big minus sign. You're down 10, you're down 2, which means you are down 12. It's just like that question. And that's it. Okay, practice, practice, practice. Do these STQs. Look how hip I am now, I'm calling them STQs. Skill testing questions, you like that? Here's some questions you're going to like as well. These four, again, show me these done with the proper work along with the notes above, neatly done. Um, and when they're all done, I'll give you the review for the test coming up next class. So again, the review I give you now is not the test, you'll get the test next class. So study this review, make sure you know how to do it really, really well. The test will be next class. All right, good luck with all that. Talk to you later, bye.